In this video of payroll software management, next option is data processing. There are many options like pay processing, canteen processing, performance analysis and hold salary. By pay processing, you may select the range of pay code, date and employees from selection option. Selection option gives the option to select employees. After that you can process the data in time office setup, the current master or previous setup. Next option is canteen processing. By this option you can process the canteen data of employees. By selection you may select employees. This option shows the list of company, employees, department, and shift. For selecting the employees you can process the data by clicking on process button. Next option is performance analysis. By this option, you may check the performance of the employee by filling pay code and month. It shows the whole details of the employee like work days, absent, overtime and late. Next one is hold salary. By this option, you may hold the salary of employees or department. When you select the department, it fetches the employees of that department. Here you can check or uncheck the employees and hold their salary. Next option is reimbursement. There is an option of the transaction. By this option you may give the compensation to the employees. When you enter the pay code and select month it will fetch the data automatically. Then manually you may fill the data like special allowance, fuel, and other incentives. Next option is loan and advance. The software also gives the facility to loan and advance adjustment. By loan and advance setup you may give the loan to your employees as per your company policy, by entering the pay code of employee. You may select the advance month, total advance amount and installment details. By loan and advance adjustment, you need to fill the pay code then software fetches the data automatically from the database and in last you need to fill adjustment amount. Next option is TDS, in this first option is professional tax slab. By this option you may set the lower and upper limit, tax amount and branch of the office. Next option is tax slab. By this option you may declare the lower upper limit and their tax percent. You may also add or modify the existing tax slab. Next option is tax section. By this option you may see the existing tax section. You may modify and delete the existing section or you may add a new section by clicking on the pen button. Next option is tax rule. In this option you see the existing tax rule. You may also modify or delete the existing rule or add the new rule by filing rule code, rule description, limit and section code that was set in previous option tax section. Next option is TDS process. Through this option you can set TDS calculation for any employee. By entering pay code, and pressing tab button, the form will fetch other details automatically from the database. You may also select or change the financial year and then software calculates your taxes. In this option, you can view the taxable amount and base amount on which tax is levied. Tax exemptions can also be viewed and checked accordingly. You can also save the TDS deduction as per the calculation. From the top option, now you can make the TDS as proposed or final. Next option is Piece Setup. It is used in export houses. By Piece Master option you can set piece code, type of work an employee did and rate per piece that you want to give to the employee. By piece entry option, you need to enter pay code and press tab button, and details of that employee automatically show on screen. You may select the date on which you want to give salary, select piece type that was set in previous option and the number of a piece made by the employee and then save. Next option is final setup. By bonus processing option, you can set up a bonus of your employees. If you have not set bonus previously and want to calculate the bonus for the previous month then you can use this option. The second option is gratuity processing. You need to enter date till that you want to process for gratuity. Next option is full and final when any employee is leaving the job, then you need to enter his pay code, leaving date, net salary, payable month, gratuity, paid notice period, PF, EPF and other details then software calculate all payable amounts will be calculated automatically. Thank you.